the most exciting things you could possibly do in life is to try and set a world record or even break one. And that becomes even more exciting when it's a Guinness World Record. That's what we're trying to do here today. We're about to attempt to break the record for the longest distance set by an EV scooter in a relay over 24 hours. The distance we have to beat is 1,430.5 kilometers. And there's only one scooter in the entire country that's capable of doing that. And that's why we're here at Hero's Center for Innovation and Technology in Jaipur. That scooter would be the new Hero Vida V1 Pro. And the reason the Vida made this whole record attempt possible is because it is the only scooter in the country that offers removable batteries as well as strong performance and solid engineering. That means that instead of spending hours to charge the scooter, we could simply swap the batteries out for fresh ones in a matter of seconds. The true challenge here, however, is one of endurance rather than sheer speed. In an age where most electric scooters struggle to provide their peak performance for more than just a few minutes, we were about to ask the Vida to run at full speed for 24 hours straight. There's also the human element to such a physically demanding effort, and that would be taken on by six riders. Soham, Zaran and myself from Autoka, as well as Rahul, Shubham and David from Hero Motocop's internal test team. Achieving a Guinness World Records title is no easy thing and there's a whole lot of protocol and procedures to follow. The length of the track had to be validated, the scooter's odometer accuracy verified and we also had to have independent marshals who would physically count the number of laps as well as record the lap timings, battery swaps and rider swaps. Finally, at 6.45am, with the simultaneous starting of two carefully guarded stopwatches, our adventure was flagged off and I was the first rider out onto Hero's 1.74 km long high-speed test circuit. And after all the excitement and adrenaline of the flag off, my first stint turned out to be a really lovely experience. First session was beautiful. Uh, there's this whole excitement that builds up after the flag off and there's a bit of nervousness and you know, so many people around, stopwatches. And then you head out and it's, it's just quiet and peaceful and the weather was nice. I think that's the last bit of nice weather we're going to get for a long time. Very comfortable. I could have kept riding, uh, but other people are waiting in line. I came in, we did uh, one battery swap. That went very smoothly considering it was our first swap of the day. It will only get better. We're already down to sub 20 second pit stop. So I think we've gotten off to a really good start. With the stress of the start out of the way, the plan for the next 24 hours was simple run the Vida flat out till the batteries reached about 25% charge and then swap out the removable battery packs for two fully charged ones and repeat. Each rider would stay out for two stints and if all went well, we'd hold a new world record by the end of it. The first session was all about checking parameters and finding our rhythm. After my run ended a little quicker than expected, the only clear explanation was that by sitting upright, I was acting like a wind sail and making the electric motor work harder. A decision was then made. All of us would crouch down to become as aerodynamic as possible. It would be a pain to sit that way for so many hours, but thankfully, the Vida has a very natural and comfortable riding position. Crouching down increased my average speed by around 4 to 5 kph, and this really added up at the end. Soon enough, we arrived at the moment we were dreading the most. India was in the middle of a heat wave, and we were attempting to break this record in Rajasthan in April. Sure enough, at one point, we measured a track temperature of nearly 60 degrees, but we also got lucky because it happened to be a windy, cloudy day. So the peak ambient temperature was 39 degrees instead of the mid 40s that we were dreading. Still, even that kind of heat can be brutal. And while the riders were doing everything possible to keep themselves cool, the Vida seemed completely unaffected. We never got any high temperature issues and the speeds never really reduced. As the sun started to fade a few hours later, all of us were hugely impressed with the way the Vida so effortlessly went about its business. With darkness now having fully taken over, everyone was starting to feel the fatigue. But we kept soldiering through. To the big, yeah, I'm it out, I got caves in the bank, and I'm back, can't let the 
So it's somewhere in the middle of the night. Uh, scooter continues to run flawlessly. I wish I could say the same for myself. I'm really feeling the exhaustion right now. Uh, I think I've slept in about three hours in the last 24 hours, but the scooter still runs without any issue. The run was good. When you feel tired and the entire pit crew comes out and cheers for you, that really lifts your spirits. And we're all tired, but everyone's really excited and we're very close to breaking the original record and then carrying forward to set our own. The pit crew turned out to be absolute rock stars at this stage, with huge levels of enthusiasm that never faded through the entire run. When they weren't cheering us riders on in the most creative of ways, they were pushing themselves to get even faster with the pit stops. In fact, we did a total of 38 battery swaps and the pit crew recorded the fastest swap of just 11.07 seconds at 1.37 am. It also helped hugely that by this stage in the night, we were about to break the existing record. And that happened a few minutes after 2 in the morning. Runs like these, the night is what's usually the tough bit to get through. In our case, we were lucky because about 2 o'clock in the morning is when we surpassed the existing world record. I was fortunate enough to be on the scooter when it happened. So excitement levels are high. Everyone is very much wide awake, even though it's the middle of the night. This record-breaking moment actually came a little earlier than we were anticipating and that meant that we had a full 4 hours and 40 minutes to stretch out that record as much as we could manage. As the hours crept by, some people finally gave in to the temptation of sleep while others persevered in a daze. But as had become the trend, the super impressive Vida just kept running at full speed with zero problems. As the hours ticked by, the sun eventually re-emerged from behind the hills and we had less than an hour left on the clock. By this point, we had hugely exceeded our expectations. The record was well and truly smashed and while we were hoping to hit the 1,600km mark, we were already well above 1,700km and we realised that we would end tantalisingly close to the 1,800km mark. That's an amazing feat, but why go through all this effort? After all, most customers certainly won't be riding for 24 hours non-stop or have a bunch of spare batteries lying around. No, the point of this record wasn't just to see how far the V1 could run, but also to discover how it could handle extremely high stress situations. And in that regard, this scooter exceeded every expectation. After 24 hours at full speed and through vicious heat, it felt just as fresh as it did at the start of this run. EVs are a new age technology and that always brings apprehensions. But a record like this is the ultimate proof of just how tough and reliable they can be if they're well engineered. In closing moments, we had a special guest hop onto the scooter and complete the last few laps to bring it home in style. The distance we clocked at the very end was 1,780 kilometers, and it was an effort we're hugely proud of because we know we took it as far as we possibly could. Seventeen hundred eighty kilometers in twenty-four hours. That's just not a record in India. It is a world record. The hardest part for me, though, I was just ten minutes uh, in to do the final run, was uh, the crouching and little crick in the neck. So really, hats off to our riders uh, because uh, really going round and round, uh, uh, it, it did does take a toll. Uh, bike didn't miss a beat and uh, just went on and on and on. Probably we could have done 48, 72. It could have just gone on. At the end of the day, we broke a world record by using a world-class Indian scooter at a world-class Indian test track with a world-class Indian team. What a moment of pride this is.